Hey everybody, it's Todd Bartusek with Berkshire Hathaway Real Estate and the All Metro Real Estate Group. So thanks for tuning in for another episode of Tuesday Tips with Todd. Thanks for watching. Uh, so one thing that I just wanted to mention um, that uh, has really actually resonated a lot here with me and my clients here over the last uh, really week, week and a half, maybe even since, you know, two weeks, you know, kind of around the Thanksgiving time. Um, people want to take their homes off the market um, to not have to deal with it through the holidays, things of that nature. And then, um, you know, they just think it's, it, it's an inconvenience. It's not a good time to have the house on the market. Um, there's a little bit of truth to that uh, because, you know, December can get slow. And then obviously, I mean, it's snowing out and whatnot. But people that are looking at houses at this time of the year, they are serious buyers. Uh, I get the I get the conversation going with people that say, you know what, I'm going to take it off the market and I'm going to put it back on in the spring. Well, again, what happens in the spring, and I've mentioned this before, everybody and their brother puts their house up for sale in the springtime. So you have you know vastly increased competition, uh, and couple that right now with the fact that interest rates have been you know slowly starting to climb, um, and the fact that our market has corrected, you know more than likely the house is going to be worth less in the spring than it could be now. Um, so perfect example, just this last weekend, I had two homes go under contract. Um, one of the sellers had been contemplating taking it off the market and waiting. And I urged him to not do that, explained to him, hey, there are serious people out there looking right now. We were able to, end, uh, uh, we were able to generate him a great offer and, and we put it together as an as is deal. So he was super happy. He's going to be moving back to Texas, um, and uh, he's definitely glad he did not wait. So maybe that's not right for you or a family member or a friend, but generally speaking, the best time to have the house on the, on the market was yesterday, because if you're not out there, nobody knows about you. In fact, I'm actually going to see a lady here this afternoon who uh, literally just pulled her house off the market. Um, her agent had not been doing any marketing. Um, and if you guys are all Facebook and Instagram friends of mine, you see that we do a lot of marketing. And so I explained to her, you know, really there's one or two, well, there's two reasons a house doesn't sell. It's either the price or the exposure or the marketing to find that qualified buyer. So I explained to her a lot of the things that we did and I actually didn't know this lady. Um, she was a, she, she was a listing that actually came off the market. Um, and I said, you know, your house is going to more than likely sell for more money now than it will, you know, 90, 120 days from now. So just, just a quick tip. If somebody that you know really needs to sell their house, do it now. Don't wait till spring. Don't wait for those interest rates to climb even higher. Don't wait for more houses to go on the market to just potentially shuffle you farther and farther down, you know, on the pile. So again, if you guys would like to have you know, me give an idea of what we do when we market homes. If there's someone that is thinking about putting their house on the market and they just want to get an idea, even if it's a few months down the road. Um, again, it's a no obligation, um, you know, conversation and I'm definitely glad to help. So anyways, thanks for watching and you guys have a great rest of your week. Bye-bye.